In this episode, we will learn about sections in interior one-point perspective. And as we got to know this topic in beginner section, here we want to expand this topic and to see what we can draw in one-point perspective and how we can do it and how much details we can put in there and how we should do that. So the first step is section change can happen in small objects. For example, if you're standing here in our paper, for example, if you're imagining a bench or a chair like this, let's use the vanishing point for this. And in the end, repeat the section again, parallel to this one. And this could give us very good amount of detail. So we were able to design this bench by using section, and this could be very special. So one of the things that can happen in architecture is designing by using sections. For example, even in furnitures that we can see in the market that designers have designed this furniture. So just like that, we are able to design a furniture like them. And then parallel to this one, we draw another section, exactly like the one before. We could see the continuation of this as well, could go back, go down, like that. So one of the things that architects can do for designing is to use these sections for the designs. It can really help you in your designs. It doesn't matter if you want to design furniture or anything else. It can help us in many areas. Here we can fix these lines as well. But in general, you get the idea. Let's add some hatch on the surface like this, so the object is more understandable. And we could repeat the same process and use the same technique in any object that we want. For example, a wall, a door, or anything else. If you have a console here, or any type of disk that we have. So, a disk underneath, a mirror can look like this. So it can have a movement like that. Now, very easily, we can use our vanishing point and connect the lines and design this object. Very simple. So one of the simplest way to design and to draw is to use this technique. For example, if you have a face washer or a sink, we could have something like this. We turn it around, the bottom section can be used for towels. And you can use this type of things in your sketchings to achieve different results and to be able to show your creative ideas. Here we repeat the same lines in the back and 
we can add some towels right here. The upper area. Here we can design the sink and faucet for the sink on top of it. And the mirror behind it as well. Look how simple and easy it's happening without any special effort. You're just designing one section and editing and a go and you can have something like this. Let's add some colors. So the designs that we did here can be more understandable. Step by step, we can add darker colors, exactly like the previous works. The inner parts need to be darker. Here, step by step. With a couple of simple color, you can show your design. Try not to put too much color on it. Try to pay more attention to the highlights and to the light and dark areas. And as you can see, these can be placed in our design very easily. So most of the items that we are looking at them, we can use section and change them. So the change in the section can help us a lot. And for example, when we are designing a simple water closet, when you want to design, first you need to consider the section. So in this section we have some flowers, goes up, and we have some lighting underneath this area, goes bottom, we have a little gutter for the water, and on top of it, if you have anything on the ceiling, it comes down a little bit, and like that. And next to this, water closet, we can add some face wash as well. The height of a person is this much, so half of it can be our face wash. A very simple wooden box for the face wash. We can place a shelf underneath it as well. And if you like, you can do something else on the ceiling as well. It goes a little up and we can add a little lighting in there as well. A tall mirror here as well. And the bathroom can be placed in this height. 
Let's make it closer to this wall a little bit. So pay attention to what's happening. We have a toilet here. At the bottom and the water inside it. When we are starting from here, send it to the vanishing point, all of the lines. So everything is a starting from our section. And in the upper area, let's plant some plants. A couple of greenery here. And on the shelf here, we are using sensorial plants because it got high resistance. We can add some hashings on some of them so the highlights can show the plants better. like this so we have this area here and we can cut this somewhere here or we can draw the continuation of it or we can leave it as it is we can close this section here so it's a box for these type of plants continue from this area the back area let's design a little window for it like this add the small details of it the structure of the window you send the lines on the bottom left, like that. Now let's show our face wash. We need to close this section, the shelf underneath it as well. We close it like that. And we can't see underneath it. We just see the continuation of that line. If we have a face wash here, one or two, we can place it. This is our face wash and let's add a mirror behind it. Just like that. Now, let's draw the ceiling, some hatchings on it. The back of our water closet, we can add some texture as well to see what is happening there. A little wooden texture on the face wash as well could help. So, one matter here. You can see the knob of this marker because you can't put the lead on the back. When you're drawing with it, it could be nice, but when you can't put the lead on the back, it can annoy you a little bit when you are designing. You could purchase something much cheaper 
but with the better quality. Now let's add some reflections on the mirror and all details on this shelf. A couple of towels here for the persons that are using this toilet. And as you can see, it's shaping. We can add some hatching on the back wall to separate the area from the rest. Now let's add some hatchings on the back wall. Like this. And as you can see, it looks very interesting. By changing the section, we were able to design a bathroom just like this. In a small area, but something very interesting. I will try to use fast hatching because it can give us a very pleasant texture in the background. Like this. With the edges a little darker to separate the surfaces. The edges of this part as well, a face wash, a bit darker. And as you can see, the edges need to be a bit sharper. So the sections that are important to us, we need to make them sharper and a little darker. And now on the floor. Let's divide it. A very simple division. Send all of the divisions to the vanishing point. And like this, and then divide the floor, just like that. Now, as you can see, very simple and easy, we are able to add details. And on the wall back there, We can add a little water hose on the back as well. Like this, we can do it. Now we just need to add some color in order to see this design much better and to understand it better. Let's do see series of color, the back area we can use touch 114 to warm up the background a little bit. We could use the warm color on a background or we could use it on this face wash and make the background darker. Both options were available for us. Now let's use CG color to add some highlights. We could use the brush side or the normal side as well.
some colors on the face wash as well. A little touch of color on the mirror. The back wall. The top area. Like this. The front area here as well. We could use a warm color for this face wash as well. So this one got a wooden texture and wood on it as well. But let's mix it a little bit. First let me make it completely dark and then we'll edit it after that. As we're waiting, let's use CG number 5 and color the upper surface. I like the upper surface to be completely separate from the wooden part below it. The bottom area here, a couple of colors. Now, let's add some green color. And as you can see how interesting and beautiful it can look. And again, we can use C color, or we could just leave it as it is. A couple of vertical color to show the reflection on the floor. Maybe make the areas that are closer to wall darker as well. The top area, same thing. We can use the brown color for the wooden area as well. And now we'll leave it as it is. And as you can see, we're able to design a very different perspective from this. So as you can see, we use sections to create furniture and we're able to use section to create this perspective. Now let's design couple of simple things with lower details so you guys get to know these type of sections better and to see how interesting results that you can get from this simple thing. For example, we have a waiting area. In this waiting room or a TV set. For this TV set that we have, we can show this furniture, we have a chair like this. Send it forward from this side, we have this, we show it, it could happen the opposite, in line with perspective. And this could be the basic of our design, so send it to the vanishing point. And after that, repeat the same process parallel to the front area. Same thing on the left side as well. And if you have something on the wall, you can repeat it as well. You have the wall here because it can't stand in the air.
We have the TV here. We have the section for the chair here. And now let's add some details on it. And as we learned before, we are adding details. We're drawing cushions. And very easy and simple, we have it. So we started designing this with section. And if you want to edit it, we can edit it in a section. Here, like this, we could cut out the bottom part, just like that. So we are able to edit it on the go, like this. We can add some plans in the back as well. We can show what is happening next to it as well. If you have some plants and greenery, we can add it as well. Next to a little table in front of it. This is also section. So very simple, like this we create a section, send it to the vanishing point, and we have a table. Like that. And the section that we're designing here is happening in small objects. As you can see, we're doing it in small objects. Without designing anything special, we were able to design something like this. But if we want to design something bigger, it's a little different. Here, we're designing something in small scale, now let's design something bigger. For example, when you're entering the museum, you just need to pay attention to the section in the museum. A very simple section can create something like this. We just need to add a little detail on it. Send it to the vanishing point. Add details back there, some hatchings on this wall. To cut out or add some areas to shape the thing that we want to design. Some furniture here close to us. So this is our box. And on this box we can have an object. Like that. So we just placed in a statue on top of this box. Very simple. And as you can see with a couple of simple techniques you were able to design this. Now let's add some painting on the wall. We add two guiding lines and between them like that. Just like that, we have it. If you want to change a section, we can get different results. Now we are in perspective. For example, even the simplest of design. For example, if we have a triangle here for a house in mountain. We say in the back, it will give us this area. And inside this area, and as you can see, we're able to achieve something like that with a section. And now we can add details. Now, we can change the section in middle of the way, just like that. When we change the section, we, it can create an opening for us or another area. Let's add some hatchings back there and here can create an opening for us. In order to see this area better, parallel to the slope, we can add some hatching. And as much as you're adding hatching, they need to be more separate from each other as they are getting further away from the vanishing point. The texture of the floor same thing. We could repeat the same thing that we did on the wall as well. 
We can create some furniture here as well. We can L shaped furniture. Send the lines to the vanishing point here. Cut it. Send it to the right. Send it to the vanishing point again and close it. Now we can add the detail on this sofa. I'm not going to pay too much attention on this, but you get the general idea of what is happening. I'm just showing how easy it can happen. From a very simple section, we we're able to design something like this. A table next to the sofa. We can create the surfaces by just adding some hatching. Let's make the cushions a little darker. Because it's very small in scale, we can't add too much details on it. But I'm trying to do as much as I can here. And as you can see, we're just adding some shadows and details like this. And when we are adding this with a very simple section, we were able to design a top notch perspective. And now this perspective that we just did, we can spend a lot of time on it and add a lot of details and edit it furthermore. You can add some lighting here that are hanging from the ceiling. Connect it to the ceiling, just this, and it's almost finished. And we were able to design something very good and very interesting, very different, with just a simple section. Now let's add our floor tiles. Even though that we are doing it very fast, the details are pleasant enough in order to present represent this as your work. Let's add some color on it. A little color on the furniture. Back area. Make it darker as much as you're getting closer to yourself or further away from the vanishing point, it gets lighter. Underneath the surface as well. As you can see, it really helps us to show this area. A couple of reflections on the floor as well. And we can work on the highlights just like this. We can use CG number one and as much as we are going further, we can use higher numbers and darker colors. As you can see, we're just creating a design just like that. Two green colors can help us as well. Even though that we didn't spend a lot of time on this, the end result can be really good. Let's add two ink of yellow color on it. To have a or carpet, a little light coming from outside on the lamp. And as you can see, just a little light on these areas can help a lot. Well, let's put some more highlight on our furniture. Procedure number four to make one part of it darker. As you can see with these simple things, we're able to create a very different perspective. So we're able to design something very simple with low amount of detail, but as much as we're spending time on it, it shows itself much better. Now let's check another section together. So we learn with the smallest details and the smallest changes in 
sections, we are able to get the best result that we want. These can work in every detail that you want to design. So if you want to design a chimney, if you have anything at the top or at the bottom as a detail, for example, it can be very effective. Let's design a very simple chimney. This is a detail from a part of a chimney. When we are designing something like this, it can look very interesting. So we are designing all of the details. Like this. If you want to place a chair in front of this area, we can place it as well. Let's see what we can get from it. Something like this, a different design. And the vanishing point that we want to set will be that, and send all of the corners to the vanishing point. And we're adding details one by one. So we have two options. We set the vanishing point and we go to our vanishing point, or we set the vanishing point and we go against the vanishing point in the opposite direction. Here we can close it, send this line to the vanishing point, this one as well. Vertically close it, this is slope till here, and send this one inside, and this area will be our wood place, show the fire as well. If there is an area that the fire can be placed inside it, show it as well. If you have a couple of wood down here, we can place it here as well. As you can see, it looks very interesting. Send it down and we have our chimney just like that. And for the chair, we repeat the same thing. So we're able to design a very comfortable chair or a sofa just like that. And here is the end and the continuation of the wall and we're able to create a detail just like that. And this could be an area that we can place many other things inside it as well. So pay attention, these changings in our sections can help us a lot. If you pay a lot of attention in changing the details, and changing the sections, you can act a lot smarter with these sections. I usually don't put this type of chair in front of a chimney, but for now, it's good. Now let's design a box. A very simple box. Send it to the vanishing point. and cut out the inner parts. So we are changing the section here, set it inwards, come down vertically, a little curved line, go back like this, go down and go back. So we are changing the section inside our design. And if you send it to the vanishing point, look how interesting it gets. Which is really good if you are able to change a section in different directions and in different areas. And changing the section in different areas can create details for us. And these details are important. 
and if these are small changes and details, you can design stuff for yourself. And these small changes can lead up to big changes. So for example, you can repeat the same thing on a bigger area. We have an area like this, some lines upward, turn it back. So we have an area like this. And a stadium. The spectators stay there, stand there. We design something like this before as well. Send it down from the side. A space like this. Somewhat different than before. Anyway, when we stay in an area like this, something like this can happen. All of the lines go to our vanishing point, and we are adding details just like this. We are creating the area underneath this one, and as much as we go further away from our vanishing point, we can add more details. So this is basically one of the interior design techniques that we can use. You're doing it very fast in the top area here. We can add our spectators. And here we can place a swimming pool. And here we can have some lines and some people that are swimming in the water. So basically we are able to do anything that we want with these sections and the changes that we can do inside this section. The ceiling can be structure ceiling and we can show the part of this structure which is holding our ceiling. Separate this area, we can design the outer parts as well. And as you can see, we're just spending just a couple of minutes for this one. And we were able to design a concept that we had in mind. And it really helps you in your designs. But you need to learn to do this type of stuff in different scales. It's really important because sometimes you want to design something in small scale. Sometimes you want to design something in a very big scale. Like for example, in a stadium or an airport. Or sometimes you want to design something like a bathroom. So you should be able to change the scale of the design that you want in order to achieve the result that you want and to be able to design the stuff that you have in your mind. So we add some hatchings at the end of this section to separate the surfaces. So we have this area and this is space like this. The floor tiles you can show them like that as well. Castle shadow on the left side as well. Now let's add the structure. It goes up, turns around, comes here. And as you can see, slowly the structure is turning around the ceiling. And we could change the structure and make it look like this. I trust the structure. As you can see, we just did it very simply and very easily. Give a little thickness to this one as well and repeat the same process. The correct way to do this is to send each of these truss to the vanishing point in order to get a correct angle of them. But for now, we leave it as it is. Maybe we can close the ceiling or we just make the ceiling as a glass ceiling 
like this. We can hang some lights as well from the ceiling. This is the direction of the light. And like this, we can hang them. And as I said before, in perspective, we have big scale and smaller scale. This is a big scale. And as you can see, we were able to design something in this scale by using sections. I will try to add the correct hatching for this one so we can represent this in a correct manner. And we can add the highlights in different levels. And if you are able to do that, this fast sketching that we did can be a very top notch sketching. And remember, part of sketching are these fast sketchings as we're doing now. Because these type of sketchings are supposed to show our concepts. And because of that, the value of these sketchings are very high. Let's add a couple of figures inside this area to make it more alive. Couple of people next to the swimming pool. Couple of reflections on the water surface. And as you can see, these can help it to look much better. So we just did all of the highlights by just hatching. So in order to see the outside, let's add a little color for the sky. Just to see our sky. And when we show that, it shows that this part is filled. Now let's add some green color on this greenery and the plants outside. And again, let's use C type of series to add more details. Let's use CG number three. Back wall as well. We can make it darker to put more emphasis on this perspective. Let's use another CG number three. The other one was almost dried out. And like this, we have it. We can repeat the same thing in different angles. Underneath this structure, and as you can see, we are doing it very easily and very simple. It's not like the time that we are doing it very specifically and with a lot of detail. Because this perspective is just showing the general concept, don't put too much stress on it and trying to show the general idea of what is happening.
So we did them just like this. And as you can see, we have our space like this. Now let's add some color for the lighting as well. In some corners, we can add some light as well. Here and here. Like we have some hidden lights. We could add just some touch of color. And I feel like we can add two ink of blue color inside it as well. Very fast. As you can see, this is finished. The very top notch design. And we were able to do it very fast. Let's review what we did. With changing section, you can create different spaces and different areas in big scale or small scale, a chimney and a chair, a villa or a gallery. Changing section can create different type of furniture, different type of detail and changing section can create a bathroom just like this. So any part of your design, which is a small scale or big scale, you can use sections in order to create big difference in your design. So this is basically one way that you can design. I highly recommend you to use this in your interior perspectives and look at other architects work and try to be inspired by them and to see what they did and how they changed their section in order to achieve a good result and try to use them as an example for yourself and use those examples in your designs.